how to use the if function in Excel with three different conditions or four, five, six, and on and on. So you can use as many as conditions as you need to use within the if function. Basically, in this practical example, I need to use three different criteria. The first one can be excellent, and then average, and then poor. Depends on the status or depends on the value that I have as the percentage. Basically, I have a sales report with information such as the date, salesperson, customer, product, on and on and on. But um, the information that is going to change the status is the margin, the percentage that I have. So it depends on the percentage, I'm going to have a different status. And as I said, you can use as many as criteria as you need to. Let's say roughly we have two functions in Excel that can help us here. The first one is equal sign if function, if function. And we also have the ifs function with the s in the suffix. This function right here is much easier to use. But let's start with the if function in Excel. Double click in the function one, two to select. And as we are used to, the if function has only three different arguments. The logical test, the value if it's true, and the value if it's false. And because it's only have three different arguments, we can input only two criteria, two conditions, if it's true and if it's false. But if we have something in between, like I have here, one, two, three different conditions, we can append the if function within the if function. My logical test here is going to be the first one. I want to check. I think it's easier to start with the endpoints. The endpoints, it can be the maximum one or the minimum one. So let's start with the maximum one. If the value that I have, the percentage, is greater than or equal to 20%, I want to input excellent as the, as the result. So let's do it. The logical test, if the value that I have to the left is greater than or equal to 20%, so you can use like this, or you can change the format. Instead of using 20%, you can use decimal numbers, such as 0.20, because it's the same thing, right? But I'm going to stick with 20% because I think it's easier to understand. Choma, if it's true, if the value that I have to the left is indeed greater than 20%, I want to uh, input here open quotations and then excellent. Close quotations, Choma. Now I can go to the second argument. But as you can see here, we only have one argument left that is value if it's false. Let's say the value that I have to the left is not greater than or equal to 20%. So what can happen here? I still have two criteria to input. If it's not excellent, it can be either average or poor. So let's input another if function. Let's append another if function within the if function. If function, double click here, one, two to select. Okay, now again, we can have three more arguments. And the first one is going to be the logical test again. Uh, I want you to check if the value that I have to the left. Now let's go to the another end point that is going to be the minimum value, less than uh, 10%. If the value that I have to the left that I already did selected is less than 10%, drama. If it's true, I want to input here open quotations and then or close quotations, drama. Now I can input my last argument. I don't need to select anymore or use one more logical test because think with me. If uh, the value that I have to the left is not excellent and uh, if it's not poor, it can only be average. So this is the only criteria that was left. Open quotations and then Average, close quotations, close parentheses. One more time, close parentheses, okay. Then I can press enter. As you can see, now I have the status, an automatically status that can change depends on the value that I have within the margin. If I click in the cell in the bottom right corner, hold and drag down or double click, one, two, I can have, I can copy and paste the function to all the rows that I have. And I done. And we can also check if it's correct. So let's say, a number that is greater than or equal to 20% is excellent. Yes, it's okay, it's working. A number that is a percentage that is less than 10% is equal to poor. Okay, it's working. And something that is in between 10 and 20 is average. You know, it's working. And we, I can also change the numbers to check if it's working properly. Instead of using 26.8%, I want to change to 20%. Let's see what's going to happen. Enter. The status is still being displayed as excellent. And yeah, it's correct. Now I want to change to 19.9. Enter. Okay, now it's average. And if I change to 9, let's say, enter. Okay, now it's 4. So it's working. So this is how we can use the if function in Excel with three different criteria or three different arguments. And if you want to input more arguments, want you to open the function, instead of close, let's say, your function right here, you can read it off this last argument and then append another if function. 
Or if you want to see another video about how to use the if function with four different conditions, I'm going to leave a free video in the description down below. Just click and watch because it can help you. Now let's change the function. As I said before in the beginning of the video, Excel also has equal sign the ifs function with the s in the suffix. So double click here, one, two. Okay, now it's much easier because I don't need to append any other function within the ifs function in Excel. Because with the ifs function, I can have as many conditions as I need to use. Uh, my logical test, the first one can be if the margin that I have to the left is greater than or equal to 20%, comma, what is the value if it's true? I want to input, open quotations, and then excellent, close quotations, comma. My second criteria can be the another ending point, as I, I said before. The value here to the left, I want to check if it, this value is less than 10%. Comma, okay, open quotations, and then I want you to have or if it's true. Comma. Now, the only condition that is missing is the average. And to create the average here, think with me. Uh, Excel, the ifs function is going to start to check the arguments that we input here from the left to the right. So, first, it's going to check if it's excellent. Let's say it's not excellent. So, okay, comma, and then let's go to the second argument that is to check if it's less than 10% or if it's poor. Okay, so it's not because both of those arguments are not true. I don't need to input here a range or I mean greater than and at the same time less than 20. I don't need to input those two logical operators create this range because Excel already checked the ending points, the excellent and the poor. So here I can input, let's say, something that is less than 20% because it's going to work or greater than 10%. It's going to work in the same way. If the margin that I have to the left is greater than 10% or, as I said, less than 20%. It's going to work. John, I want you to have average. Okay, close quotations, close parentheses, and then enter. Let me double click in the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two. And okay, as you can see, nothing changed here because it's basically the same logic that we did before, but with a different function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use the if function in Excel with three different conditions or criteria. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.